Okay, guys, sorry. My baby was crying. I'm sure you heard him. All I really need you to see is if you drop the zero, we're going to add that zero back on. So I'm going to give you a problem. And whether you multiply normally or you use the array or the box, I want you to try it. Okay, and then I'm gonna wait and then I will do my work both ways so you can see it. Make sure you have what you need um, and we'll go from there. Please remember, if this is how you multiply, our biggest issue is that we think we know the fact and I just need you to double check in the chart in your notebook that you have exactly what you need. Our biggest issue if you use the array is that we're either not putting the right number of zeros in the box or we're not lining up our numbers at the back. So I'm gonna give you a problem. I'm gonna remind you to drop the zero. I'll show you what it should turn into. I want you to do the work and put the zero on at the end. I'm gonna wait and then I will do mine and I just want you to double check yourself. That's it. So give me one second. Okay, I will show you in one second. I'm operating with one hand, so give me a minute. Let's try 354 times 720. The only way, you guys, that they can give us three digits by three digits is if the last digit is a zero. So I'm going to set this down for just two seconds. I want you to drop that zero, cross it out. Turn this into 354 times 72 instead. I'm going to set this down for just a second. If you multiply normally, I'm setting this up. Give me one second. I'm still here. Don't turn anything off yet. If you use the box, I'm setting it up. Give me one second. No matter how you multiply, we are just going to drop that zero, and we're going to make it 354 times 72, 354 times 72. I am going to set this down. I want you to take a few minutes, and I would like for you to do your work, and no matter how you do it. I'm doing my work now, and then we'll go through it. You should be doing your own work in your notebook. If you get an answer, remember, if you drop that zero, you need to tack that zero on at the end. I'm doing my work both ways. So if you're done, give me just a second. And while you wait for me, just look at what you have, make sure what you have makes sense. I am adding things up for the multiplication array. So give me just a second. I'm almost done. If you're waiting for me, double check what you have. Okay, you guys. If you're not ready, I want you to pause the video. I want you to finish your work. And when you are ready, I want you to unpause. I did uh, what I call mom and dad. So I said that two times four was eight. Two times five was 10. So I put the zero on the bottom and one up top. Two times three was six, plus the extra was seven. Please remember to let dad come home. If he doesn't come home, you're doing a lot of work for nothing. I said that seven times four, sorry, was 28. Eight was on the bottom, two's up top. Seven times five was 35, and 35 plus two more got me 37. 
7 times 3 was 21. And 21 plus 3 more got me 24. So then I added them together. And if I drop that 0, I added that 0 back on at the end. So double check your top row. Double check your bottom row. If we have the same top and bottom row, then your multiplication is fine. And this one that I'm going to circle just so you can see it, that was an extra from when I was adding. Okay? So my top row is 708. If we have the same top row and middle row here, and your multiplication's fine, but we have a different answer, that means that you made a simple mistake adding. So if we have the same row for mom and dad, just double check your answer. See if you made a simple mistake when you were adding them together. Over here, I said that seven times three was 21. Three zeros needed to go in that box. 7 times 5 was 35. Two zeros needed to go in that box. I'm going to turn this. 7 times 4 was 28. It needed a 0. 3 times 2 was 6. I needed two zeros. 2 times 5 was 10. I needed an extra 0. And 2 times 4 got me 8. So then I pulled out those numbers, lined them up at the back, drew in place value lines, and added them on. The only thing I haven't quite done yet is... If I drop that zero, we are just simply adding a zero on at the end. Either way you multiply, you should get the same answer. I am going to set this up really quickly. I'm operating with one hand because my baby is sleeping, so give me a sec. I'm going to give you another one because the way that this works, you guys, is if we drop the zero and we add the zero back on at the end, it's just normal, regular multiplication. And we've been multiplying for like four days now. And you have that cheat sheet, that multiplication chart glued into your notebook. We should be okay here. I do want to do one more for practice though. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to say 826 times 450. I want you to remember, you should be putting this in your notebook because I'm writing in mine. The only way they can give us three digits times three digits is if the last digit is a zero. I am going to, give me one second, cross that zero out. I'm gonna drop the zero. I want you to turn this into 826 times 45. And if you drop the zero, please remember you're going to add the zero back on at the end. I'm going to set this just like this. You should be doing the work in your math notebook. You should be multiplying 826 times 45. I'm doing it in my math notebook right now. I'm going to do it with mom and dad. And then I'm going to do it with the, the box so we can check it either way. If you need to, pause me, okay? I know you can't see me, but if you need to, pause me, do your work, and then when you are ready to check your answer, you'll can't talk. You will press play again. I'm gonna show my answer. If you're not ready, please hit pause. Okay. I've done mom and dad so far. So I said that four times, nope, five times six, sorry, was 30, zero on the bottom, three was up top. I said that five times two was 10, 10 plus the extra three got me 13, three on the bottom, one up top. Five times eight was 40, and 40 plus one was 41. So if we don't have the same answer, check the row for mom. Check the row that says 4130. If we have different numbers there, we're making simple mistakes multiplying. So either make sure you're using your multiplication chart or make sure you're remembering to add on the leftovers. This fat zero here is dad coming home. I said that four times six was 24, four on the bottom, two up top. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 2 got me 10, so I put a 0 on the bottom, a 1 up top. 4 times 8 was 32, plus that extra got me 33. Check your row for dad. 
If you don't have a zero in that row, you forgot to let him come home, which means you're doing a bunch of work for nothing. If we have different numbers, we're making simple mistakes multiplying. So use the cheat sheet in your notebook or make sure you're remembering to add on those leftovers. I said that zero plus zero was zero. Three plus four got me seven. One plus nothing was one. Four plus three got me seven. Nothing plus three was three. I dropped that zero. So anytime you drop a zero, you need to remember to put it back on at the end. I am going to do the same problem, but I'm gonna use a multiplication array. If you feel comfortable, which means you multiply with mom and dad, this is gonna be the end of my video, me finishing up the multiplication array. So if you multiply with mom and dad, you can finish and end the video now. If you use the multiplication array, I'm gonna do mine really quickly. I want you to do yours because our issue is that we're either not putting the right number of zeros in the box or we're making simple mistakes adding. So I really want you to double check what you have. I'm gonna set this down for just a second. I'm gonna do mine really quick and then we'll look at it. If you are not ready, I want you to pause me and I want you to press play when you are ready. If you're waiting on me, give me just one second. Okay, if you're waiting on me, I'm ready. If you're not ready and you multiply with the array, you use the box, just press pause. I said that eight times four was 32. There's two zeros up top and one zero on the side, so I put three zeros in that box. Make sure you have the right number of zeros. I said that four times two was eight. There's a zero up top and a zero on the side. I put two zeros in that box. I said that four times six was 24. Six doesn't have a zero, but I have a zero over here, so I need one zero in that box. I said that five times eight was 40. There are two zeros up here. So here's 40 from five times eight. I brought both those zeros down. I said that five times two, oops, see I messed up right here because I was going too fast. Five times two is 10, not 20, is 10. There's a zero, I'm pulling it down. There is no zero on five, so I only need the one extra zero. I said that five times six was 30, there's no zeros just 30. I'm going to line up these numbers and I need you to remember we're lining them up at the back. I know it's kind of hard to see so give me just a second and I'll fix it. Okay, I said that all, oh, that looks not like a zero, but it's a zero. All the zeros are still zero. Four plus three got me seven. Eight, nine, 10, and 11, one on the bottom, one up top. Four, five, six, and seven. Three plus nothing is three. But remember, we dropped that zero, so we need to add a zero on at the end.